Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome back to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. From Massachusetts Mayflower Brewing Company, this is their Squanto, a limited edition farmhouse ale, which was brewed in March of 2015, packaged in April of 2015, alcohol by volume of 6.0% ABV, 100 barrels for this beer, available in four packs mainly. So it's named after an Indian who helped the Pilgrims in 1620 when the Pilgrims first arrived in Massachusetts. So it seems appropriate that the Mayflower Brewing Company would brew a beer in tribute to an Indian during the Pilgrims' time. So I'm going to get right into this and check it out. Check out the cap. I like showing off the Mayflower cap because it shows the Mayflower ship. And if you go to Plymouth, Massachusetts, they have a, uh, a new version, or I should say a, uh, a renovated version of the Mayflower itself available in the harbor that's available for tours and pictures and whatever else. So I've been there before. So let me give it a pour and check it out. Into this Kelson glass from New Hampshire. And we'll give this a pour. Alright, a couple of months old. So I'm I'm reviewing this on July 31st. Might as well say August. So uh, it's had a little aging I'd say. Let's check it out. Well, take a look at these colors here and everything. You can see clearly it's a pale yellow color with this tremendous white, foamy, fizzy head. But pale yellow would define it. And great clarity. Let's check out the aroma. Mmm. <laughs> you know, I like some of these Belgian brews. I shouldn't say some. I like all the Belgian brews. I'd say I like Belgian brews are probably among my favorite styles. Even though I review New England beers, I still like beers that have a Belgian influence. And this one has those styles that you look for in a Belgian brew. Such as, well, the aroma is toasted malts, toasted biscuit, a nice sweet a sweet, a sweet toasty character, mm, a nice Belgian yeast character, a slight Belgian uh, sugar character, Hops are kind of low profile, but the hops I'm picking up are more kind of earthy and spicy. And uh, but uh, really, it's just a, a very clean smelling Belgian style brew. Let's check out the taste. Easy drinking. I can tell you right now, this is an easy drinking beer. And I'd say the body is light to medium. Yeah, I'd say light to medium. Not watery for sure, but it's definitely a lighter body, light and refreshing. It's great for a day like today, which is I think 82 or 83 degrees as I'm recording this. Easy, easy drinking. So let's talk about the taste. Well, I mean it really has all those characteristics you look for uh, in a farmhouse. It's not quite as sour or tart as some farmhouses can be. I've had a lot of farmhouses that tend to be kind of sour and tart. Then maybe I'm thinking of saisons, but in either event, some of those specialty Belgian brews can be very sour and tart using the wild yeast. This one, though, however, doesn't have that really sour tart flavor. It's more of a sweet flavor uh, with a toasted bread character, a toasted biscuit character. Mm. Um, just a, a kind of a creamy just a really creamy sweet character going on. It's a sweet tasting beer. Not super sweet, but just a very sweet, you can you can basically pick up some of those sweet sugary characteristics that accompany some Belgian style brews. I mean, look at me drink this thing. It's going down really fast because it's really easy to drink, really easy to enjoy. Um, I really like that kind of sweetness that's going on in this beer. There's not a whole lot of bitter character at the end, but I am picking up the slight spicy or peppery character, uh, but it's really subtle, more laid back. I'd call it more earthy overall. Mm. But those toasty characters are really solid. The sweet character is really solid. Uh, really a decently balanced beer. So I'm enjoying this one. I could find myself, I did pick up the four pack, so I could see myself you know, drinking a couple of these easily back to back. So that'll do it for now. This is the Mayflower Squanto. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.